When in sight of another vessel, a power-driven vessel should give one short blast to indicate that she is altering course to starboard. It shall give two short blasts to indicate that she is altering course to port. If three short blasts are sounded, it means she is operating a stern propulsion. The sound signals may be supplemented by light signals as the vessels are in sight of one another. It should be a white light with a minimum visibility of 5 miles. One flash means altering course to starboard. Two flashes at an interval of one second means altering course to port. Three flashes at an interval of one second means operating a stern propulsion. Overtaking vessels in a fairway. In this case, if the vessel behind wants to overtake, then she has to sound the signal. Two prolonged blasts followed by one short blast means I intend to overtake you on your starboard side. If in agreement, the ship to be overtaken should go to one side of the channel and sound one prolonged, one short, one prolonged, and one short blast. Similarly, if the ship wants to overtake from the port side, it will sound two prolonged blasts followed by short blasts. If in agreement, vessel to be overtaken should go on one side and sound one prolonged, one short, one prolonged, and one short blast. If the ship ahead does not understand the signal, she should sound at least five short and rapid blasts on the whistle to know the intention. Bends and obstructions in a fairway. A vessel, when nearing a bend or an area of obstruction in a channel, should sound one prolonged blast. Any approaching vessel within the hearing range should answer the signal with another prolonged blast. If whistles are fitted on a vessel at a distance apart of more than 100 meters, or 328 feet, one whistle only shall be used for giving maneuvering and warning signals.